Welcome to Gut Talk TV, a YouTube channel focused on closing the communication and knowledge gaps in gut health. Please see a disclaimer and press the subscribe button below. Hello everyone, I'm Dr. Jake Begun. And I'm Dr. Yunnan. We are gastroenterologists from Australia. Today we are going to talk about vitalizumab. Vitalizumab is a biological drug, specifically a monoclonal antibody. You may have heard it as brand name Entivir. Vitalizumab is used to treat adults over the age of 18 with moderate to severe Crohn's disease or ulcerative colitis. It aims to get your Crohn's or colitis under control and keep it under control. If you have IBD, vetalizumab may be an option for you if other treatments have failed, such as 5-ASAs or other advanced therapies. In some circumstances, for both ulcerative colitis and Crohn's disease, your doctor may suggest trying vetalizumab before other treatments. At the moment, there is limited data available about vetalizumab in the treatment of pediatric patients. However, in certain circumstances, this may be used. Vitalizumab belongs to a group of medicine called biological drugs. Vitalizumab is a gut-selective integrin blocker that targets white blood cells. White blood cells are made by immune system to fight infection. However, in IBD patients, overproduction of these cells leads to inflammation. Vitalizumab works by stopping the white blood cells from entering into the lining of the gut. This means the drug only targets the gut rather than the entire body immune system, like other medication, and may cause fewer side effects. Everyone responds differently to vetalizumab. Some people may start feeling better within two weeks of their first treatment, but in other patients it may take longer, and therefore we generally reassess patients after three months of treatment to see if they're responding to therapy. Vitalizumab is given intravenous infusion that is stripped into a vein in your arm. This is done either at infusion center or via home infusion program. The infusion itself takes only 30 minutes, but there is an additional time for setting it up and also monitoring after the infusion. To begin with, you will generally receive a series of three induction infusions during your first six weeks of therapy. You will receive first dose and receive infusion two weeks after that, and third infusion four weeks after that. If you've got Crohn's disease and if you don't have a good response after third infusion, your doctor may prescribe additional starter dose at week 10. If you respond well to this treatment, you are likely to enter into the maintenance program. A maintenance program consists of infusion every eight weeks. However, you can have an option to switch into a self-administered injection that is given every two weeks. In general, vetalizumab is safe and has low rates of complications. But like all drugs, vetalizumab can have side effects, although not everyone will experience these. Some side effects can happen almost immediately in direct response to the infusion, such as swelling at the infusion site, or allergic reactions like rash or perhaps feeling unwell for a short period of time. Some side effects are mild and will go away on their own or following adjustment of the infusion program. Others can be more serious and require treatment cessation. Because vetalizumab decreases immune responses in the gut, there may be a small increased risk of gut infections. And it is an extremely rare complication and only one case has been reported. However, you should be aware of a complication called progressive multifocal leukoencephalopathy, inflammation of the brain, also called PML. You should watch out for symptoms such as blurred vision, difficulty speaking, and weakness in the arms or legs, and report it immediately to your treating team. Let your training team know that if you're experiencing any side effect or think you might be getting an infection, your treating team will let you know what to do with your medication around the infection time and also recommend you to take specific vaccination while you're on vitalizumab. Your symptom will be monitored carefully by your IBD team and also you'll be monitored using blood and stool tests which is a good marker of inflammation and sometimes centers will do intestinal ultrasound to see how your bowel swelling is doing. After 6 to 12 months of the therapy, centers will do uh, endoscopy to check for gut healing and this is an important target of the treatment. Monoclonal antibodies like vetalizumab are transported across the placenta and therefore can be found in the blood of babies born to mothers on vetalizumab treatment. 
However, studies have shown that there are no significant adverse outcomes associated with vetalizumab use during pregnancy. Due to the vetalizumab in the baby's circulation, however, live vaccines should be avoided in newborns for the first six months of life, such as rotavirus, or until blood vetalizumab levels are undetectable. But all other types of vaccinations should be given as scheduled. Furthermore, although vetalizumab can be found in breast milk of mothers on this treatment, this cannot be absorbed from the baby's gut and therefore is not associated with any side effects. I hope you find this video useful, and if you have any questions, please leave the comments below. Thank you.